Hello everyone, my name's Nafi, I'm a medical student from the University of Leeds, and I'm also an online tutor. In this video, I'm going to talk about are four A-levels really better for getting into medical school? The reason I'm making this video is because it stems from a 2018 Cambridge Masterclass I went to on medicine. In this Cambridge Masterclass, there was a couple lectures on medicine, as well as a Q&A session with some of the current students and faculty members. One of the faculty members in this panel was the admissions officer at King's College, and they were posed a question by one of the members of the audience asking, is it better if I did four A-levels than the three A-levels I do now? And she replied, well, three A-levels is our minimum requirement. However, four A-levels would be better. This got me thinking recently, are four A-levels really better for doing medicine? To help me illustrate all the points in my video, I'm going to use the University of Oxford and their medical course as an example. A brief rundown on the Oxford medical course. It is a six year long course and is a traditional style, meaning the first three years are more theory and science based and the second three years are clinical and examination based. But let's focus on A-levels. The A-level requirement, as listed on the University of Oxford Medical Course page, is as follows. A-star AA, excluding critical thinking and general studies, and at least an A in both chemistry, and one or more of biology, physics, maths, or further maths. Now, you may be thinking that because medicine is so competitive, you would be inclined to do a fourth A-level to stand out and give yourself a much bigger chance of getting in but that's not necessarily the case. First, however, let's look at how doing four A-levels can actually be an advantage. Yahoo! One of the biggest parts of medicine is that it's a science subject at its core. So you need to have a good knowledge of the underlying science behind mechanisms of diseases and drug actions and loads of other different parts of medicine, which has a scientific foundation. Gaining this understanding and knowledge requires a certain set of skills, which is highlighted on the Oxford Selection Criteria page under Academic Skills. The skills related to academia are as follows. Problem solving, critical thinking, analytical approach, intellectual curiosity, keenness to understand the reason for observations, depth, tendency to look for meaning, enthusiasm and curiosity in science, communication skills, willingness and ability to express clearly and effectively, ability to listen and compatibility with the tutorial format. So if your fourth A-level were to be able to show that you had these skills, it would certainly give you an advantage. Most likely, your fourth A-level will have to be something sciencey, mathematical or analytical. Oh no! But like I alluded to earlier, medicine isn't just all about academia. There's a lot more involved. Mainly, the skills you need to be a good medical student and a good doctor. This is once again highlighted by the selection criteria for the University of Oxford's medical course. The shortened list is as follows. You need to have empathy, motivation, communication, honesty and integrity, ethical awareness, ability to work with others, capacity for sustained and intense work, alignment of individual values and behaviours with the values of the NHS constitution. In a medicine interview, regardless of what medical school you're going to, there are going to be, in some way, shape or form, looking for these skills in you. And if you can show that you have these skills from other things, such as experiences, instead of from A-levels, then you will be a strong candidate. The main takeaway I want you to have from this video is that you should think much more openly about your application to medicine, not just looking at A-levels. Sure, having some specific A-levels applying to some specific medical schools may give you an advantage if they weight academics slightly more than other medical schools. However, the majority of medical schools will care much more about the skills you have than the A-levels you've gotten. This is all to say, so long as you've met the minimum requirements, there's no going around that. This brings me to the end of my video. I hope this has been helpful looking at to why 4A levels may or may not be better. Thank you for watching.